time travel. It's not a superpower. It's a disability. It's what's wrong with me. Can I help you? Henry. Sorry, I, I don't know. Claire. So we've met them. Yes. Hi. Hey. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure you. to meet you too. Lovely I love your backdrop. Yeah. We're lucky. Really like sunny and lovely. My dog will decide to join us, but let's hope not <laughs> yet. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed the series. You've done an excellent job in portraying this very, very special relationship that Henry um, and Claire have. And I was wondering because the book I read that was meant to be a metaphor of failed relationships, yet I did not get that from the relationship I saw between you two guys. So my question is, I guess, how did you work on creating this uh, relationship? And I'm very curious, do you have to have experienced something like that in real life? I mean, uh, love like that in order to be able to portray it on the screen? Let's start with the lady. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I would, I would say that what we were kind of very much wishing to to portray is a kind of turbulent relationship between Claire and Henry very much at the beginning. So that possibly at the end of the first episode, the viewers would hopefully be unsure on whether they would be able to make it work for themselves simply because Claire right then in that moment in that bar is truly unsure on whether she'd be able to continue in this vein of uncertainty. Um, so I definitely think we try to kind of imply that um, it wasn't going to be smooth sailing. Um, but uh, I'm very happy that we, we kind of convinced you that these guys are always going to stick together. So <laughs> that is good. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think I had read that. It's interesting you said that she, the writer, had talked about, um, you know, the, 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 as a metaphor of a, of a complex of our relationship. But then with Stephen, he talked about the idea of a, of a happy marriage or a happy relationship that is broken by external circumstances so um, yeah I don't really know the answer to it really um, but uh, but 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 I think both of those are kind of blended in the story to, to create a kind drama of a drama, drama a roller coaster ride <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and what did you enjoy the most in portraying about Claire and Henry I I remember feeling this as soon as the kind of the wig got put on but I loved playing her at 16. Oh, I loved playing her at 16. Cool. Um, it was more to do with the fact that I could play with the hair extensions and just be a little bit more, kind of sit back into... Obviously you're far more insecure and unsure of who you are in your teenage years and it was quite, hopefully, I didn't lay it on too thick, but it was quite fun to kind of have that simmering um, whilst portraying her at 16 and, and mm. just being more kind of girly with her movements but yeah, just trying to figure that one out, uh, I rather enjoyed. Mm. Uh, for me, Henry, when I, I remember reading uh, the... Because I, I remember it in the book, but, you know, Stephen's great with glib humour, and I, I, I really enjoyed that about Henry. I remember reading the pilot when before auditioning for it, and, you know, he's got this... I guess because he thinks he could die any moment, he's got a kind of glibness and a throwawayness. That, uh, a throwawayness. Yeah, no, I get English, it. <laughs> uh, that, that I love, that kind of humour of like, oh, fuck it. Um, that's what I enjoyed about him. We just happened to each other in the wrong order. Any hobbies? I'm your future wife. Your day well. And how hard is it? You've both been a part of some uh, very successful film and TV series. How hard is it after something like that to pick the next project? How hard is it to pick? Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's an element for me whereby beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Same and, <here. laughs> um, and certainly when, when this project came through to me to audition, I was very excited at the collaboration of Stephen Moffat and HBO. And then, similar to Theo, having kind of read the pilot before I began auditioning for it, I just felt that this was a fantastic kind of win-win situation whereby 
I was, you know, if I was going to be fortunate enough to land the role, I'd be able to, yeah, portray a very interesting character with, with quality behind it. Yeah, you similar. Know. I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't in a position to be picking it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, please have me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, the, the the whole thing spoke for itself in a way. So we were just, yeah, well, I don't want to speak for you, but I was just hustling to, you know, try and be involved. Me too. Well, thank you. You've done a wonderful job, really. I really enjoyed the show, so all the best. Bye. Thank you very much. Nice thank you. I don't have very long. Nobody has very long. I think I'm going. No, no, no. I love you. Why is love? intensified by absence.